It seems to continue with that on the radar. We get some local thoughts here from New York politicians about the chaotic situation that we're seeing here. Joining us in studio, two Republican councilwomen from the Big Apple here, Vicky Palladino and jo Joanne Ariola. Uh, Councilwoman Palladino, we were watching that report, and you had said uh, that, that with the negotiation that these, these protesters want to negotiate with the school, and if not, uh, but what's there to negotiate about? They're not negotiating anything. <laughs> Let's make this perfectly clear, because it's either their way or they'll destroy. Right. There is no, you don't negotiate with these people. Everybody has to understand something. This is coming under the guise of protesters against Israel, you know, uh, pro-Gaza and all of this. Let's everybody understand what's under attack here. What's under attack here is the American way of life. This is the breakdown of our system. These are the students that have been grown, homegrown, yeah. by our liberal, liberal universities. Columbia is a perfect example. It's an elitist. It's what I call ivory tower liberals. Okay, so they have been injecting this into our kids for decades. The professors themselves date back to the 1960s. These are all people who were raised on this liberal way of thinking, and now they have total control. They're afraid of nothing or anybody. They're not, you're not going to tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. They're under the mind that you, we are going to tell you, and we're going to dictate the narrative to you. Because yeah. there's only one opinion here that matters, and that's theirs, or so they think. Yeah, great right. point there. Uh, yesterday, GOP House Speaker Mike Johnson, of course, he was at Columbia. Mm -hmm. Here's one of the things he said. Watch. My intention is to call President Biden after we leave here and, and share with him what we have seen with our own two eyes and demand that he take action. There is executive authority that be appropriate. If this is not contained quickly and if these, these threats and intimidation are, are not stopped, there is an appropriate time for the National Guard. We have to bring order to these campuses. We cannot allow this to happen around the country. We are better than this. Councilwoman, do you think that it is at the point where the National Guard should be brought in? There were lots of uh, liberal reaction to that, of course, saying that Mike Johnson made it dangerous, more dangerous, by going to campus. That's not making it more dangerous. That's bringing attention to what's happening. They're talking about negotiating with the school's administration over the break. Why is the school negotiating with local terrorists on their property, property that they're damaging, that they're putting graffiti on, swastikas, they're threatening other students? This is anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism is a hate crime. Why aren't they being arrested and prosecuted for it? We shouldn't be negotiating with them. We should be corralling them, arresting them, and, and putting an end to this insanity. And we do need the National Guard to come in. We're at seriously low numbers with the NYPD, and that was done deliberately. This is all some type of larger plan, like my colleague said, to really, really get in the way of our Western way of doing things. And yes, there are outside agitators, but they're paid by the likes of Soros. But these, the most of these people are students, and they're being hand-fed and indoctrinated by the professors that are standing there with them. What do you make of them not even knowing what some they're protesting about? They've interviewed some of these students there, and they, they don't even know what they stand for. Well, it's been proven that they're getting paid to do this. So, so if you can make however many dollars per hour to stand there and yell out right. and chant and parrot somebody else's words, they're going to do that. So they don't know. Just like when so many migrants had come to City Hall that day under the guise that they thought they were going to get green cards and get their citizenship. That's right. All right. Uh, Councilwoman uh, Vicki Palladino and Joanne Ariola, don't go anywhere because we're just getting started on this conversation.